station is Sault Ste. Lane. Previously on Last Stop. Your Wendy, right? I like your wedding ring. Did you tell your daughter I'm married? I don't keep secrets from her. She's a grown-up girl. Hey, Dad. What is this? Who sold these to you? Calls himself Spider. Very easy to find. We doing business or what? No more dealing. You're done. You've got bare bad things coming your way. That was good. <laughs> we really should do this more often. I can't do this again. I mean, give me a moment. I didn't mean right this second. I mean this. Us. What, what do you mean? I don't think there's anything to explain. This was just a bit of fun. So is that it? I've got to get going. I'm late for an appointment. Okay, well, can I meet you for a coffee sometime? I don't know, this all seems a bit rushed. Yeah, maybe. I'll let you know. Sorry, I really do have to get dressed. All right, you're still here. Are we going in then? Well, is that it? You meant to be here 20 minutes ago. Well, let's just get in there then. Fine. Hello, Dan. Mrs. Hughes. It's lovely to have a chance to talk to you both at last. It was getting late. I'd assumed you weren't coming. I'm so sorry. We were held up. How's Dylan doing, Mrs. Adelaide, is it? Tamara, please. Sorry, I think this is the first time we've met. This is my wife, Mina. Pleased to meet you, Mina. Dylan's progress this term has been good. He's blossoming into quite the artist. I can't believe some of the stuff he brings back from school. Sorry, I've got to take this. Mina, don't you think you could do this afterwards? I'm really sorry about this. It's quite all right. Okay, what were we talking about? Uh, well, as I was saying, Dylan has a, a keen interest in drawing. Sorry, Aww. that's me again. Mina. I'm really sorry about this. It's fine. You two continue. Well, I've never been so embarrassed. You're overreacting. Dylan's doing fine. You did a good job at making me look like a crap parent in there, though. Thanks for that. You're not a bad parent, Mina. You're just... You're never here to do any of it. When you are, I feel like you'd rather be somewhere else. For Christ's sake, Dan, it's my job. This is what it takes. You wanted me working behind a desk. Well, this is it. Fine. But how long are you going to keep working late like this? Because you won't tell me anything about your job. How can I know? I don't know how you can't understand why I'm frustrated by all of this. I'm off. You can continue this on the way home if you want.
I tried calling the office earlier. They said you'd left for the day. Well, I don't know why they'd say that. The receptionist doesn't have clearance to know my whereabouts. Brilliant. Say what's on your mind, Dan. What's the point? You've always got an excuse. Can we go out? Eat your muesli. And then can we go out? No promises, not till that bowl is empty. Even the grey bits? Especially the grey bits. This looks like rabbit food. Alright, don't make me bring out the choo-choo train. <laughs> don't be weird, Dad. Choo-choo! All aboard! Choo -choo. Can we go to the park then? Or maybe Mum would like to take you. Come on, Mum. You never go to the park. Yeah, come on, Mum. Perhaps I can go in later or something. Yeah. All right. Get your things. Thanks, Mina. Can I go on the swings? Of course. Mina Hughes, this is Harlequin. Please authenticate. Hughes 47 Alpha Tango. What's up? Amrit has left a memo here asking for your authorization on the Munich document. He's saying you must have forgotten. Can I have some I money? I can't send Where it off without someone's signature. Tell Amrit he can authorize this himself. He should know. I explained this to him on Wednesday. Mom, I tried reaching are you him you listening? Went to voicemail. We need this out today. Mum! Just a moment, Dylan. Look, forget it. I'll come by the office and sort this out myself. How about we get you home so you can watch some TV? But we only just got here. I'm needed at work. Oh, you always say that. Fine, let's go then. I'm sorry, Dylan. Are you mad with me? What even is your job? What do you think I do? I don't know. Something to do with lying to people. What makes you say that? Dad says you keep a lot of secrets. So, what is it? It's nothing you'd be interested in. Why can't you just tell me? Fine. I work for a British private military security and intelligence company. My job is to monitor, support and execute orders for our investigators out in the field. The data is brought home to be analysed, packaged up and returned to the client, usually a government or private interest. How's that? That doesn't sound very fun. Oh well, you wanted to know. <sighs> Any ideas what you want to do when you grow up? I want to be a teacher, like Dad, and help people. You can do better than that. What? Like you. What did you just say? Nothing. I just want to go home. Look, you can be a teacher if that's what you really want, but I don't want to hear you speaking to me like that again. Fine. I'm sorry. 